Is this good? Is, was this a good Hello, video? Elapsed. Very good. Juicy track mania drama. Punkay said it was super boring. We'll give it a shot. Absolute legends. Something big is happening in the world of track mania. An event. Freestyle about dream cheating. Oh shit, okay. It was an accident, I promise. I did not mean to do it. I had the packs and shit, all the plugins in my folder, but I did not mean to have them. I was relaxing and shit. I was inside of my bathtub and I was just scratching an itch. Yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, I'll just be packing a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like my stands a little bit. Yeah, what? Huh? Okay, it wasn't really cheating because I made the mistake. Um, it was not on purpose, so this shit is all fake. Yeah. This guy actually does like track mania shit though. He's like deep in it. This was the Our first one that got recommended to me, but I never watched it. To... Okay. In every form of competition, there will always be cheaters. Our innate competitive drive... Virtual is the summoning salt of track mania? Oh. ...and desire to win often lead people to do irrational things. Like and cheating. there will always be those who are willing to go to extreme lengths to become the best. By cheating and playing unfairly. Some people Trek might cheat. Trackmania is an extremely competitive racing game franchise. Yes, it is. In every Trackmania game, the goal is simply to drive as fast as you can to the finish line on any select track. There are individual leaderboards for each track in every Trackmania game. And on every leaderboard, there's often not more than a few hundreds of a second separating good players from the very best players. In such a competitive environment, it's easy to develop thoughts of grandeur and contemplate cheating in order to win. Over the years, there have been some players who attempted to cheat, but most of them were quickly caught due to being reckless and using easily detectable cheating methods. Bah. With the rise- Stupid idiots. If you're gonna cheat, at least fucking do it good, okay? I don't know why people always leave their tracks. It's like, if you're gonna cheat, you should make it so they don't know that you're cheating. But uh, that's what I would do if I was cheated. I would just not- I would do it in such a way that it would be easily undetectable. Like our boy Dream? No, that was way too easy to detect. Because of things like tool-assisted speedrunning, perhaps the Trackmania community should have been more aware that someone could have discovered more sophisticated cheating methods. They left their tracks because it's Trackmania? That doesn't even make sense. And successfully managed to pass off cheated runs as legitimate. We were naive enough to think that it couldn't happen. The Trackmania community is mostly based on trust and respect, and it was unimaginable to think that any of the top players would sink this is the best part. Everyone had like really cool names because you could like fuck up your name and do a bunch of different cool shit. Look at all these names. As low as to cheat records. But early in 2021, the community member Donadigo discovered the biggest instance of suspected cheating in Trackmania history. What? This discovery required a big investigation spanning over several months, with thousands of world record replays being analyzed. And now, the results of this cheating investigation are final. Before watching the video, I highly recommend that you go and read the full report. The link to it is in the- Yeah, let me go read this report. On the top okay. of the description. Hold on. I hold okay, let's, you know, he said that we should read the full report. Okay, so let's go read it. Mechanics, motivation, write the data, replay, extraction, detecting, tables. Holy shit, dude. This is even more in depth than the fucking dream one. Holy shit. Okay, I got it. I also want to be very clear that this video is not about hating on anyone or stirring up drama. The purpose of this video is to document the events that have happened and to address the situation the Trackmania community is now facing. What I'm presenting here are solely my opinions about the report, and those opinions are not reflective of the report in any way. That always is like some weird blanket thing. Like, like it feels like you just have to say it, but... There's not much you can do about it. Depending on the situation, if you're like, yeah, don't send any hate to this person, but, like, they're a huge piece of shit. I mean, I don't know what he's actually going to say about them, but it just reminds me of, like, Dream being like, yeah, don't send any hate to these people, people, um, but, like, they're also biased and nitpicky and they're jealous and they're fucking assholes. Don't send hate. The second half is kind of beef. Because All of right. the scale, we're gonna have some beef. I'm fucking. On the severity excited. of the events, I will be calling players by their actual gamer tags. Please be civil and do not harass or make any attempts to contact the players mentioned in this video. First things first, it's important to understand how the Trackmania leaderboards work. 
In order to claim a record in Trackmania, you must up- Dude, once one person cracks open a bag of chips, it's just fucking over. Everybody's fucking like, oh, I forgot I had chips. Upload a replay file of your speedrun. Replay files are automatically created by the game when you complete a run, and they store the exact inputs a player did in that run. Replay files can be easily shared and uploaded to the leaderboards to then be downloaded to be viewed or raced against by other players. Replay files are great because they create a very low barrier of entry to competition. As There's a video of the guy who- wait, yeah, send me that, Woka. Players don't need to buy recording equipment in order to compete in Trackmania. But it also makes Trackmania leaderboards more susceptible to cheating, as with no requirement for live video evidence, it creates a possibility for cheating. The replay files in Trackmania also store a player's exact inputs. This is something that Donadigo discovered in 2019. Donadigo developed a tool. What the hell? I feel like they discover that way sooner. When, when you can't, like, detect... Or I feel like when there's no recording shit required... I mean, that seems really good, a map of their whole inputs, but... I could I'm kind of interested to see how they, like, extract conclude that it's replays, cheating. And then play them back with a script to perfectly recreate a player's run. As in Trackmania, the physics are completely deterministic, meaning that all physics happen as a direct result of a player's actions. Let's take press forward nice jam. tracks as an example. On press forward tracks, all the player has to do is press forward. Oh! And because the input is the exact same in every run, the result will also be the exact same every time. This same principle applies for any complex string of movements as well. The exact same sequence of inputs in Trackmania will always produce the exact same result. Zumadigo later developed a tool that would display these inputs fetched from replays so that players could analyze in high detail what exact Hold on, I have to see this. Big huge fan of Pog, very Pog. Play of the game. Very Pog, big guy, very Pog. <laughs> I see that comment, I had to look it up the first time I saw it because I'm a boomer, even though I'm in my 30s still. I'm going to say that all year. And uh, no gray hairs either, so I'm like in my 20s with all the stuff. Damn, he's in his 30s. I feel like he'd be like in his 40s or I'm some sales, shit. Dude, what is happening here? What the fuck? Very play of the game. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't, okay, whatever. Steering movements were done in a world record run. And for a while, this functioned as a great learning resource. But early in 2021, a player requested Dunadigo to- He's 39? Dude, that's fucked up. I mean, yeah, you're in your 30s, but like, are you really? Play the inputs of a record set by the Trackmania streamer and content creator, Riolu. And compared to what other players' inputs look like, Riolu's inputs looked strange to say the least. Oh? The steering movements were very erratic and jittery, and they didn't seem to make any sense whatsoever with how one would normally play the game. But a possible explanation was that maybe the input display was incorrectly showing the inputs. Well, Dumadigo did several tests on this. He extracted the inputs from Riolu's replay on CO5 Endurance, which is a record Riolu drove live on stream. Then he compared his own display with inputs taken from the replay file to the input display Riolu uses on his live stream. A and genius. he found that the movement on both matched very accurately. Several comparisons like this were done, and it proved that the tool definitely wasn't at fault. After all, all the tool does is display the inputs the game received, so it does make sense that it is accurate with the live movement. But could there be any other logical explanation for these inputs? No. Like a broken controller? No. High sensitivity? No. Playing on a joystick? No. Or perhaps a third party tool could affect inputs such as DX Tweak? No. All these possibilities were rigorously tested for and they can be read about in the report. But in none of the tests done with these settings did players get close to replicating the inputs in Riolu's runs, in terms of frequency or precision. We're on to you, bitch! possibilities exhausted, an investigation was launched with the goal of figuring out if Riolu and potentially other Trackmania players were playing unfairly. An early suspicion was that the inputs could be a result of slowing down the game speed, using software like Cheat Engine. The advantage of driving Trackmania in slow motion is that you can be much more precise in turns and have superhuman reaction times to situations happening in a run. And slowing down the game speed does not invalidate the physics of a run, as the game doesn't check Whoa. if a run was driven in real time or not. But when played back in normal speed, 
the inputs from such a run would obviously look insane. Oh. A player called Ogus was already banned from the Trackmania community for this exact method of cheating, and Riolus runs did show some similarities to Ogus controller movement. For the sake of fair competition- Look at that shit jiggling, bro. It's obvious something's fucked up. It's fucking no card jiggles like that. We began looking into the idea of the runs being driven in slow motion. I will be skipping over most technical details of the investigation in this video, but they can be read about in the report. Since we knew that inputs and runs driven in slow motion would most likely be much more rapid than the inputs and runs played at normal speed, we developed a metric called spikes thanks, per thanks, second thanks, okay. in order to automatically detect replays contained. Edgy Reggie, thank you for the year, man. That reminds me of um, Eminem's freestyle where he references that he's edgy enough to give Reggie Bush a wedgie. Squish the left cheek till the it's squished against me. I don't remember what the rest of it is. Containing fast steering movements. Any time a player would change from steering left to right, or vice versa, by more than 2,000 units, it would count as one spike. We then did an automatic analysis of 25,000 Wait, I, hold on, let me, let me. Steering left to right. I missed place. that part. We okay. developed spikes a metric per called spikes per second. Yes. In order to automatically detect replays containing fast steering movements. Okay. Any time a player would change from steering left to right, or vice versa, by more than 2,000 units, it would count as one spike. We then did an automatic analysis of 25,000 available replays from the leaderboards, yes. searching for the ones with high spike per second values. It's important to understand that high spike per second values does not mean that someone is automatically cheating, as it can just as likely be the nice result cock. of things like using a defect controller, which would create a lot of noise in the analog input signal. This analysis for replays containing high spike per second values was merely an indicator into which players should be investigated further for potential cheating and right. each detected player's case was carefully looked into in the report. Damn, that guy fucking is it, Roman 9898 is far above, although it's only two replays processed. I will now got to look at the data completely, you see. Focus on the case of Riolu, as he is by far the most well-known Trackmania player in this investigation. So we put great effort into ensuring that the case is robust. Imagine that you are like not only do you cheat for like a record? I mean, I don't know if he's cheating, okay? Um, and don't send hate or anything, you know, his way. But like, imagine you have 500 different runs and you literally cheated all of them. And that we have considered all possibilities of how his records were achieved. Riolu has uploaded 573 records to the leaderboards in Nations and United Forever. In total, his peak spikes per second averaged out at 11.73, which is a very high score considering the number of records. Upon closer inspection, we found that only runs played offline exhibited very high spikes per second what? and unnatural fast tapping movements, while his steering movements in runs played live on stream or on online servers is much smoother and the steering changes are less agile. Oh shit, dude, the plot thickens. That's so weird. Like, when you're actually... Like, I know that Carl Jobst always brings this up, how cheaters tend to be the ones who know the most about the game and the ones who, like, could actually get shit for real, but they just, like, get pushed to a point where they're like, fuck it, I'm cheating. Throughout the investigation, we have tried to find one online record or one run driven on stream which would showcase Riolu's ability to do these hand movements in a live setting. But we have yet to see any evidence. Look at that shit jiggle, bro. What the fuck? In a live setting. <laughs> but we have yet to see any Is that how it's supposed to look? Of Riolu being able to reach such high spikes per second while driving precise corners. We have examined the possibilities of software such as DX Tweak or Joy to Key potentially affecting inputs. All right, fine. I'll set up straight. That these tools do not modify a controller's behavior in a way that yields this movement, and especially not only at times when he isn't live streaming. The second most notable player that this investigation turned up is Techno, who together with Riolu occupied the top spots on the Trackmania United solo mode rankings for years. Bro, two cheaters at the top? I mean, I don't know if they're cheaters yet, but look at the gap here, dude. 70, what is that? What the fuck is that number? What? 70 million apart. Techno reached out to us and admitted to having played many of his records in slow motion, Aww. using Cheat Engine at anywhere from 40 to 80% of real game speed. 
Not all of my replays are cheated, but some where Riolu had sick world records. As more and more world records from me got beaten by him and I barely could stand a chance and had a lack of evidence, I tried to beat him with his own methods. Oh. Oh, that's like the Casey Tron. Like, oh, if every if someone if everyone else is cheating, then fucking I might as well cheat. It's not a great excuse, but it's better than just cheating, I think. He also notes that he isn't proud of it and that it was something that he felt he had to do at the time to keep up with Riolu. Interestingly, the inputs in runs that Techno has admitted to playing in slow motion and the inputs in Riolu's suspected runs look very similar in their nature, both players reaching incredibly fast tapping speeds and doing very sudden movements. Following this, two more players among the 10 that deviated the furthest from the norm, Luntz and Nico, have also reached out to us and admitted that they- What if the rules of video game cheating applied to relationships cheating? What? Just thought I should add, there's this funny story of Techno's sister dating another player and when she saw the other player's game, she asked why the game was so fast. <laughs> Drove the record. She fucking spilled the beans. She had any, she had no idea. <laughs> in slow motion. And when compared, their replays also exhibit the same behavior as seen in Riolu's offline records. We invite Riolu to provide a logical explanation for why his inputs look this way in his off-stream runs. But after exhausting all other possible explanation, we can only reach Damn, the conclusion a cool that the incredibly fast inputs seen in Riolu's offline runs must be a result of using an external program uh -huh. to modify the speed of the game. Or, to put it quite simply, we argue that Riolu has cheated his records no. by driving in slow motion. No. The extent of this goes beyond just records set in Trackmania United Forever and Trackmania Nations Forever. These same steering movements can also be seen in runs on Trackmania 2 Canyon, Trackmania 2 Valley, Trackmania 2 Stadium, and also in Trackmania 2 Lagoon. These inputs also occur in Trackmania Turbo, both in world record runs and also in the Super Trackmaster Metal replays. In 2015, Riolu was invited by Ubisoft Nadeo to set strong target times that would be included in Trackmania Turbo, as a tough challenge for players to try to beat. And we argue that he cheated these STM replays no. as well. No! Dude, imagine you fucking get a new game, you're so excited, and you're like, wow, I wonder if I could beat these records. And the fucking default record on the track? Come on! The earliest suspected cheated replays emerged in 2011 and we see a steady pattern all the way until 2020. The most recent run being uploaded on the 7th of December 2020. We would argue that he cheated the vast majority of records driven off stream during this period, totaling up to potentially thousands of cheated records. Bruh. In the description, there will be links to playlists with 200 of Riolu's records from various Trackmania games, so you can analyze the data yourself and reach your own conclusions. But you might ask yourself, Riolu is such a good Trackmania player, so why would he cheat? Why? This we don't know. Why? It's something that we can only speculate about. A YouTuber called Carl Jobs deals a lot with cheaters in speedrunning. Yes, he and does. And one of his famous quotes is that great players don't cheat to get a good time. They cheat to get a good time faster. Nobody would deny that Riolu is a good Trackmania player. He has demonstrated this in live competitions. But ego and a desire to be the best can often get the best of great athletes and players. And when chasing big goals, like trying to get to the top of the solo mode ladder, or simultaneously holding all world records in a game, and getting tantalized Holy in the close shit. to achieving them, it might be easy the fuck was all that? world records in a game, and getting tantalized in the close to achieving them, it might be easy to get lured by the temptation to cheat. But we will never truly know why he might have done this until he himself comments about it. Riolu recently went live on Twitch to talk about this situation before the release of the report. In the live stream, he did not state any possible explanation for his inputs, but instead spent most of the time attacking me for how I approached him in private. Oh, These following shit. things are only something that I wanted to address personally, and this section is not in any way part of the actual investigation. On the live stream, he started by showing our private Discord conversation. At one point in this conversation, when shown a suspected keyboard replay on the track st Wait, let me... Station. Out. You think this is too quick? Looks like Tetris Grandmaster speeds. 
how many taps per second can you find? That's not so much the speed of the taps that stands out to me, but the strength of the taps. In the first turn, you had a speed of 10 taps per second at 0.02 second strength, which to me seems next to impossible. This replay also stands out in peak speed comparison to your other keyboard runs. What do you mean your taps? I never played this map with KB. At one point in this conversation, when shown a suspected keyboard replay on the track Stadium A3, he claimed... That's your run. How is that possible? That's one year before I hunted the map myself for world record. What? Does he have a clone? An evil clone that's cheating? 2011, I already stopped playing keyboard, so whoever upped this replay wasn't me. Wouldn't be the first time someone got a hold of my account anyway. A few months ago, all my accounts were hacked as well. Someone went on a trolling spree. Fucking trolls, man. Claimed to not have driven the record, even though it was driven on his in-game account and <laughs> uploaded to his Trackmania Exchange account. We looked into this claim and found that his story did not add up. The Trackmania Exchange website stores your login sessions, and in this login session, Riolu also uploaded several legitimate personal best records. Oh, shit. Records, leading us to believe that he was lying and that the keyboard run on Stadium A3 was indeed driven by him. The same fast key tapping movements are also present in some of his Trackmania 2 Canyon runs that he would later drive on keyboard, runs that he himself uploaded to his YouTube channel also tying into the idea that this record was driven by him. When we asked him to send us his replay folder for analysis, something that could But I hope that you understand these anomalies require a bit more looking into. If you have replays dating back to 2012, would you mind sending your replays in a zip so we can analyze further? Any particular map? Preferably it would be the entire replay folder. LOL, are you doubting me this much? Well, it's easier for both of us than asking for specific maps. We just run Dinadigo's script. I also am completely aware everyone has runs they never intend to upload. So things like that would be completely Help disregarded. Help innocence, he declined. This is a very easy process, and it only takes a few clicks to do. Trackmania replays are a few kilobytes in size each, so even thousands of replays across several years of play would only amount to a few gigabytes at most. That's crazy. That's a really good way. That's so smart how they store them. It's literally what, a text file of all the inputs. It's cool. He also accused me of blackmailing him when I wrote to him that Thanks. I'd Thanks. urge you Thanks. to Thanks. think Thanks. carefully Thanks. about the tone you speak in, as it might just make things worse when the report comes out. Oh. If you'd like to speak about this privately instead, then I'm open for it. Brother! Oh, <laughs> drama. Jesus Christ, that's blackmailing if I've ever seen one. Like, I'd urge you to think carefully about the tone you speak in. Is he my dad? <laughs> I mean, that guy's a fucktard already. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Holy shit. Many people. <laughs> There's someone in chat that said, nah, W is totally sus. I'm assuming W is virtual. People found this comment to be too pushy and rude, and I can own up to it and say that the way I wrote it wasn't perfect. Me and Riolu have been friends for several years, and my intention with this comment was to warn him of the potential backlash that big public comments could have if the report found him to be cheating. As they banned his name in the chat? What? Once things are public, it's much harder to walk back statements you've made. This is also why I wish the matter could be resolved privately before reaching the public. In that very same message, he also omitted the playlist of runs that we sent him, making many people believe that we were witch hunting him over things that happened 10 years ago. Wait, what? In that very same message, he also omitted the playlist of runs that we sent him, making many people believe that we were witch hunting him over things that happened 10 years ago. I personally wouldn't be talking about this if it was only about records that old. Everyone makes mistakes when they're young and everyone can learn from these mistakes. There's plenty of examples from other games of players cheating when they were young and growing up and becoming good at the game. But what we're dealing with now is more than just a single mistake. This is several hundred. 
This is a lot of hundreds, I'm talking, hundreds of stupid fucking mistakes. Unique instances where Riolu has sat down and potentially cheated records, from the time he was 15 years old until he turned 25. What we are observing is not the result of a few mistakes made as a teenager, but habitual cheating behavior spanning nearly a decade. During the livestream, Riolu said, There's more at stake than just records. Who cares about the records? What matters more is actual human beings. True. And right now, human beings are not being treated very nicely. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I just have all these records, but I don't really care about them. Who cares about these records? I mean, come on. They're just records. What about me? What about how I feel? <laughs> Which to me is a weird thing to say after 10 years of supposedly cheating. When he in those years did not treat the human beings that he competed against very nicely, lacking any respect or decency for them at all. He mentions how his livelihood is at stake, but not once after becoming a Trackmania streamer in 2016 did he stop to think that this is something he should come clean about. Instead, we argue he continued to cheat records behind the scenes for many years after becoming a streamer, lying to the entire Trackmania community, his fans, his friends, and even lying to himself. Damn. If I sound a bit harsh in my tone when talking to and about Riolu, that is because I am. Because this is a serious topic. As someone who is competing for world records in Trackmania fair and square, I find all forms of cheating to be absolutely appalling. Those who cheat True. play only for their own gain, with complete disregard for the effort and feelings of those who are competing fairly. And they ruin the spirit of the competition for everyone. That and I sick. believe thanks, that cheaters thanks, rightfully thanks, deserve thanks, to get thanks, called thanks. out on their actions when- Gay for you, homie. Oh. I was like, I was confused by that sentence. Um, thank you, son, for the 10 months. Caught. No matter if they are a content creator or not. And if they are a content creator, then perhaps they should have thought better of starting a career on top of such shaky ground. True. Damn After straight. This live stream, thanks, fucking thanks, talk thanks, to him. Thanks, Tell him what's up, virtual. Paper man, thank you for the prime. Many people have said that I'm only doing this for content, for fame, and for money, and that I'm willing to backstab my friends. But I want people to know that the one thing I personally care most about is competitive integrity. For many years, I have been strongly against cheating and helped uncover. Wait, are these virtual subs in my stream? What is this? Wirt7. Nice. Nice, we got the, what do you call them? Worders? Squirters? There were cases where it has happened in Trackmania. In 2017, I detected the player Strollbar cheating in the Trackmania tournament. I created a video documenting the findings. Worders Originals, nice. And compiled all the available evidence against him and uploaded this video on list. All right, all right, all right. I, I kind of uncover cases where it has happened in Trackmania. In 2017, I detected the player Strollbar cheating in the Trackmania tournament. I created a video documenting the findings and compiled all the available evidence against him and uploaded this video unlisted to YouTube. The video was sent to tournament organizers and it has stayed unlisted ever since. Then, in 2019, when the players Galagar and Yachter cheated on Trackmania Exchange, I was part of the team that detected how they cheated. I was planning to make a video about the event but after they confessed to it, I dropped the video to avoid unnecessary drama. And late in 2020, I approached Unadigo and asked him to make an anti-cheat patch for Trackmania Nations Forever, which is a product that he has now finished. Oh, and from shit. now on, all world records on official and classic tracks will have to be played on the Trackmania competitive patch. Nice. This patch prevents players from being able to play in slow motion undetected, among a few other things. And hopefully this will lead to less instances of cheating in the future. My intention has never been to needlessly create drama. I just want clean competitive environments. In a perfect world, the cheating investigation report would simply be published, and the cheaters would receive their punishment, and then we would move on. But this case sadly completely ruins the trust people have towards the legitimacy of leaderboards, and we as a community now have to confront a very harsh reality about the game and about our history. Many current world records Damn. and thousands of records from the past have not been achieved legitimately. I hope people will think about this with an open mindset, instead of pretending that these things haven't happened. It is the only way we can move forward. I once again urge you to read the report for yourself, do your own analysis, you can even fetch the inputs from the replays and create your own input display tool if you'd like. 
the tools I'm for this are that. all openly available. And all of this wouldn't have been possible without Unadigo. Without him and his effort, it could have been several years until this situation was detected and dealt with. And maybe by then, the situation would have been even worse. If you would like to show him a few cents of appreciation for his effort, there will be a direct donation link in the description okay. below. Okay. I personally can thank him for making sure that my videos in the future won't put the spotlight on players who've lied and cheated to gain an unfair advantage, but instead focus on those who embody the spirit of Trackmania speedrunning, in the dedication and effort they are willing to put in to achieving their records legitimately. <laughs> and luckily, fun. there are many more of those players than actual cheaters. Thank you all for watching this video. I will take a short break from content creation now that this project is concluded, but I will be back soon with more Trackmania videos and documentaries. Until then, have a good one. Wow. Wow. That was so good. Damn, that was a really good video. Bro, that's some crazy shit. So it's it's still like a uh in progress. Riolu has not admitted it, has he? Will he admit it is the question. Riolu. Oh shit, the people are coming in. 26%. Damn, he's big. <laughs> Riolu should do a collab with the slow-mo guys. Dude, the thing is, like, I don't know how they don't see it. How it looks, like, from the outside. But it's such a good opportunity for, like, a comeback arc. Like, if you just admit thanks, it, thanks, and thanks, you move thanks, on, thanks, and you do it legit, that's hype. It's like, damn. You know, you actually, like, f grew, and you fucking, you changed your shit. Like, yeah, it's fucked up, and fuck you, but at the same time, you know, good on, like, that's, that's so much better than just being like, ha ha, no, 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 it didn't, no, no. I just think that that's such a better arc. Like, Dream just, like, the dr it's similar to the Dream thing, where it's just like, I mean, I don't know. I, th I feel like Dreams is more damning of evidence than this. But, I mean, based... The fact that he made a whole report on it, like he's that sure, then I, it must be real. It's just like... You you just look like a bonehead. You really do. If you're just like, no. Like, this is actually fucked that... If that's the case, that the top two people are cheating a uh, lot of their records, yeah. that's just fucked. Okay, not on my watch, not on my watch. Got a bad bitch working on my crotch.